Hello there, Gemini Cancerian friends, and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And don't forget to bookmark this reading as it will serve you for the rest of October. Don't forget the, the astrological weather full report for October has also already been released, as well as your zodiac readings. Please don't miss out on those messages, all right? Let's go ahead and get into it. I didn't have any immaterial voicemail, but we are going to get into the center of these immaterial messages for our Gemini Cancer friends for this month of October. And please keep in mind that uh, <laughs> I think my cat is scratching at the door. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and see what is at the center. And remember, I do the uh, Cusper readings usually the second week of every month all right let's go ahead and take a look here what is at the center of these immaterial messages gemini cancer we do have a winter energy now is the time to be protective of your energy now is the time to rest i also feel like you might have been um you might have been working on something, a, you felt a calling, you learned something new, you explored some new system of prayer or magic or devotion, but I feel like your study is, it's coming to an end. It's about time to begin something new. It's about time to move on to the next challenge, okay? Be careful getting not knowing when to let go, not knowing when to let go of a certain pursuit or an ambition or some aspect of your development, always, you know, being thankful, always being uh, conscious of how it has helped to change you and help to improve you. But I feel like there's something where it's time. It's time to release and to catch something new, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look here. We do have purity energy and we also have air energy yeah i feel like there's something here where it's like a new idea a new a new direction is what i'm getting here i feel like you have you have done your your service uh you whatever was necessary in order for you to purge to purify to move forward but now it's like it's the next chapter is what i'm getting okay something else starting a new starting a new chapter of your story okay could also be um you could be ending something with an air sign a gemini libra aquarius maybe you realize that this person it wasn't worth selling your soul it wasn't worth losing your soul to whatever this entanglement was whatever this relationship was also here i think that you've been able to clear your head or clear your mind maybe if you've been in in some sort of in some sort of uh dysfunctional sort of uh relationship it feels like here you are you're free of that okay it's like you're you're starting to see the situation with new eyes and it's you're starting to realize that this is <laughs> there's something better out there for you or something something better meant for you all right uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. We do have the solar plexus chakra. There is something here about healing, about healing of the of confidence, healing of your also your belief in yourself to self will things, to achieve things, to accomplish whatever it is. All right. I feel like also here it's like after you've you've overcome the challenges, after you have learned lessons, after you have been able to distill whatever your experience has been and your feelings about the experience into something that makes sense to you something that you can take and you can build from is what i'm getting here all right and whatever this is it's like in hindsight looking back at what you've been through you realize that you were able to find the solutions that you were able to uh, provide for yourself to survive to do things beyond your capacity. And I feel like that, it, maybe it's not like that for everyone, but you've been able to build your confidence through conflict is what I'm getting, okay? Because every time that you, every time that something tries to cut you down and you say not to, what do we say, uh, not today death or whatever, <laughs> I just gotta get like a weird thing there, but um, I just feel like, uh, I feel like it's only helped you to appreciate yourself more. And maybe, again, that's not always the case for everyone because some people can develop really 
uh, some of their survival instincts, some of their survival tactics are not necessarily healthy. But I feel like you've also managed to, you've managed to be scrappy and you've managed to fight the good fight, but I don't think that you ever got to a point where it was like you were actually toxic or that you were actually, um, you didn't lose, lose sight of yourself. Even though you had doubts about yourself sometimes or about your confidence, it's like you knew who you were spiritually, you knew who you were at your essence, and for the most part, you have been successful in staying in your upright energy. And, that, and again, that can't be said for, for, for many people, I don't think. We have the timeline energy. So with timeline energy, I feel like you are, I feel like you're appreciating, you're appreciating the steps that you've taken to get to this point. But also, I feel like maybe you, maybe you, want to express yourself you want to express something about your experience here some of you might be called to testify or to to witness or to you know to to tell your truth to speak your experience and the lessons that you've learned some of you could be inspiring maybe a uh, another generation maybe you're giving some sort of like a graduation speech or some sort of talk and i just feel like there's something here with purity i'm getting like the youth they are they're being guided or they're lighting up your ideas or helping to empower them to light them up to fire them up sort of energy here okay and with stardust energy that's truly blessed truly sacred and magical is what i'm getting here with the stardust energy yeah i just i feel like here you are helping to to make magic happen helping to make blessings happen you are flexing your will and using your skills in order to bring some you know bring things to an end that need to go but also you have, it's not just about breaking down, it's not just about sweeping things away. You have ideas and solutions and better ways to go about things in order to also rebuild at the same time, okay? I feel like maybe you're receiving some sort of blueprints or inspiration, some sort of solutions or ideas that are going to be like magic to to this world or to your community or for your cause all right what is what direction is this going what direction is this going for our gemini cancerian friends we do have special in this energy uh your unique talents your unique abilities your experience your influence your energy your prayers your magic it really does it really does have have an effect and it has like a unique effect on other people it's like i feel like you are able to speak to some part of people that just really touches them just really touches them in, in their feels like really touches them in their heart really moves them to 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 speak up and to participate you just have a very infectious sort of energy when you truly believe when you sincerely believe in something it's hard not to also believe in that thing with you and that is that is one of your immaterial gifts you are you have the ability to influence other people's not necessarily set the mood or set their vibe but you can definitely influence their their level of excitation their level of uh, engagement is what we're, is what i'm getting here okay bottom of the deck though we do have stuck energy but there is something here where maybe you are holding on to something because you've achieved so much but at this point you know it's time to it might be uncomfortable to go from being the master to back into the beginner but it's really important for you to get back into that beginner energy and to start something new otherwise there will be stagnation is what we're getting here okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here uh don't lose sight of the of the real points of the mission the focus the you know the lessons all right what is at the center of or sorry what is what's the takeaway guidance here for our gemini cancerian friends for these immaterial messages for the month of october 
We do have the Queen of Pentacles energy, so Capricorn energy with the minor in Sagittarius. But with this, with this, there is something linked between your talents, your gifts, your immaterial gifts, and probably bringing that into your mortal life, into your career especially, okay? There are definitely... Um, but with the Capricorn energy, it's definitely about community, fostering community, cultivating community, even if it's just you in the beginning. I feel like you are a community builder, and that's part of what your astrological DNA is it drives you forward to do and i feel like you know if you think about it it's like every star is a sun and every sun is the center of a solar system so you are the sun of your own solar system uh, and but there are many solar systems within the universe within the galaxy and each one of them is just as special all right uh, but each of us can also every man every woman every child is a star and each of us can be part of some sort of constellation that spans across space and time that allows us to leave some sort of map or guidance for the future generations. So when they look up at the sky, they know that they are never alone and that they're never... Um, and, and to remember that they are part of a legacy, they are part of something, of people that really tried to build something, not just people that tried to destroy and break things down and um, just practiced, uh, just practicing a sense of ingratitude towards the land, especially for some reason, okay? Whew, all right, let's go ahead and move forward here. We have strength card at the bottom of the deck, so yeah, I feel like... Uh, I feel like finding strength through this, these experiences and using that strength as fuel to feed and to nourish communities. But whatever it is that you've done, that you've risen to the top of, now it's time to find a new outlet, a new cause. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the, uh, let's take a look at some love messages here. What is at the center of these love messages for our Gemini Cancerian friends for this month of October? We do have freedom energy, so it looks like you are enjoying your singleness or you're enjoying possibly an open relationship or possibly something with its you know maybe friends with benefits or no attachments all right one way or another i feel like you're tired of dealing i feel like you're tired of carrying the weight or burden you're tired of you're tired of having expectations and having people lie to you about those expectations being met I just kind of feel like you, you, you're going to take some time to actually just figure out what makes sense to you and maybe also ponder what it is about certain people that attracts you in. What is it about certain weaknesses or temptations or vices that some people have where it's just like, man, that just really does it for you, okay? I got to be real. Like, maybe you're trying to figure out, like, is it maybe also you might be dealing with the fact that maybe sometimes you you don't always realize it in time but maybe sometimes you just like the attention you just like someone to who is into you maybe your type is someone who's attracted to you but then it's like you realize that that's not a really good standard or that's not a really good uh you know gateway or measuring point or something like that because it's like then you end up with these people that are just really not any not good for you not compatible not what you're looking for but it's like i just kind of feel like there's something about your your standards that maybe you're questioning why are your standards so low to be honest because i just feel like you are I feel like you're attractive. I feel like you are have a good heart. I feel like you have a heart of gold. I feel like you are, you know, sincere and you're passionate and you're loving. And it's like, why do you always end up with these narcissists or these assholes? And you know me, I don't necessarily like to use the word narcissist as like a, you know, I know it's a really hot phrase or whatever, 
but there definitely are some people that are very that are actually narcissistic that may actually have some sort of uh, you know difference in terms of their psychology and I do feel like for one reason or another you really are attracted to these people and here's here's the difference though Gemini Cancerian because a lot of people might tell you that these people are trying to victimize you or they're preying on you or feeding on you and in some cases that may be the case if you have legitimately been preyed upon or victimized you know that is never your fault but I kind of feel like here it's like you're actually kind of also looking for these types of people because it's like you have gone on dates with people that are not like this and it's like you're just not interested in those people you find those people boring is what I'm getting here so there is something within you that really wants to be with someone who has certain qualities but also maybe some of those qualities are tangled up in narcissistic uh, pathology so it's like Maybe you need to get the, to, to the center of it. Forgiveness energy. So maybe you're, that's the way you punish yourself. You punish yourself through your romantic relationships. Maybe also it's like you want to sacrifice. You want to suffer. You want it maybe as a punishment, but then it's like you need to choose someone where it's never going to be enough because otherwise eventually you'll satisfy them and then they'll want to praise you or you'll prove something good to yourself and that's not the purpose of the self-sabotaging exercise. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting. I love you, my friends. You know, don't you don't have to live your life like that. You don't have to live like a refugee. I'm getting some Tom Petty in, but let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, we have fulfillment energy. Yeah, I feel like there's something here where you have all of the elements, you have all of the blessings that are waiting to come in, but there's some part of you or some, some aspect where it's like you're hesitating, possibly because you just don't believe that you deserve it. You don't believe like maybe someone messed with your head, maybe someone like messed with your confidence, but it's like for whatever reason here or you just don't believe that there's someone who can satisfy who can satisfy you or who can really have that sort of level of a relationship that you're looking for i feel like you're looking for someone who you're not just passing time with and that you're looking for ultimate intimacy and trust and closeness but it's like i think your experiences with the people previously have really made it hard for you to they've left some scars and it's made it hard for you to open up and now it's like you're you, maybe you just don't think that any at this point you might feel like anyone that's attracted to me like there must be a problem with them or something but i just kind of feel like maybe you do need to re-examine and ask yourself why did you stay you know like in terms of and this is not like to, to blame the victim, but it's like, I feel like you already knew that something wasn't going to work out. Like, wait, you knew these relationships were doomed from the beginning. It's not that you didn't see the red flags. It's that you just didn't acknowledge the red flags. But what part of you kind of felt like, you know, because putting it in, in, into, into uh, perspective, if this was one of your friends, you would have been like, oh hell no don't go don't go towards that person don't let that person take you out like you know you can do better or something like that but it's almost like you you got to a point where it's like you just you just don't you don't stick up for yourself that same way or look out for yourself the same way and i feel like you've had people take advantage of you in the past you've had people hurt you and I just feel like it, it makes it, 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 it you take it, it, it's harder on you because I feel like you are a true romantic, all right? All right. It's just, it's, on the inside, you're, you want to be ushy, you know, gooey and, and soft and gooey and gushy, but it's like on the outside, you need that hard shell because you just don't want people to keep thinking they can, they can fuck you over, okay? All right we have action energy but it does look like there is some sort of fulfillment there is someone who's coming towards you that i feel like you're going to actually allow yourself to let this person to love this person and to let this person love you i mean i feel like maybe you just i i feel like you just realize that this person they're, they're worth it or they make they make you feel safe or they make you feel in a way where it's like it's a lot easier to open up and if that's the case you can you know it's probably going to it's probably going to touch you and it's it, it's gonna, probably going to touch your heart and it's also probably going to scare the shit out of you and you're going to have to decide if you're going to like 
run from it or if you actually want to embrace something that you've been waiting to experience for a long time okay it may not may not go the way you want it may not end perfectly it may you know at the same time it may never end maybe it's exactly you know what you've been looking for but i feel like the, the reason i'm 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 telling you to go forward is because it doesn't seem like uh, unless you're just really ignoring the red flags it doesn't seem like there's red flags it seems like a completely different type of relationship so with freedom here you might have been in in a lot of connections where jealousy was an issue jealousy or envy or just something where someone was like maybe being with someone who was too controlling being with someone who was jealous someone who was maybe even angry okay i feel like this is this is a completely different energy all right we have potential yeah i feel like you're you're moved by by this connection you're moved by the chemistry you have with this person the sense the feeling of openness you know i feel like also but still make sure you're watching out for yourself and make sure that you are holding yourself this partner for you to the same standard that you would hold for someone who you know it would be dating someone or married to someone that that you really love in your life someone that you respect someone that you love someone that you want to you want to be taken care of don't settle for lower standards than what you wish for your for your friends and for your loved ones okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here uh what is the uh what direction is this going with these love messages i feel like maybe you you meet this person maybe you meet this person when you are out and you're out and about doing something i feel like maybe you meet this person and you don't have a lot of time like it's a really brief meeting but you do maybe exchange like maybe you exchange like contact information this also could be someone that you're meeting a little bit early maybe you're like hey aren't you so and so's friend and they're like yeah and they're like oh i'm gonna see you at that party this weekend right and you're like yeah actually i'll, I'll be there or whatever but I feel like you kind of meet this person in the street is what I'm getting. But you, there's not a lot of time to really talk. But I feel like the two of you, there's something about the eye contact. There's something about, yeah, you're really feeling each other, okay? You're really, you, you kind of think to yourself, wow, like, wouldn't it be awesome if things, like, if I got to, like, talk to that person at this party? And, like, I just kind of feel like you, you think about each other. I feel like this person thinks about you, too. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What direction is this going? for our Gemini Cancer friends, we have diligence energy. So yeah, with diligence, I feel like there's something here where it's like, you think that there's potential long-term long -term relationship material here is what I'm getting. I feel like both of you are reciprocating this feeling. And I feel like, again, for whatever reason, there's maybe something about this person's energy or the way that they treat you, but it just does trigger something inside your inside of you that says you know what i i deserve this i deserve i deserve better than what i've gotten in the past and this is i feel like there's something about the way this person treats you like this is the way someone treats you when they respect you when they love you when they when they want you as a partner when they want you as when they see you as an equal okay what else do we have here? We have miracles. Oh my gosh, miracles at the bottom of the deck. Could definitely be a formal soul contract or a divine counterpart situation, especially here. But hallelujah, you know, praise the day. It just looks like you, maybe you were no longer, I'm, I'm getting daydream believer, the monkeys. Uh, maybe you didn't believe in love, but I feel like here it is and you're actually opening yourself up to it okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here what is the um what's the takeaway guidance here what's uh, actually first what's the timing on this because you know the whole month of october is kind of long so let's go ahead and see what what period in october or during this month is this most likely to happen we do have the Queen of Wands energy, Aries with a minor in Pisces. The person you're meeting could be an Aries with some Pisces in their chart or an Aries Pisces or a Pisces Aries cusper. But it feels like whatever this is, it's probably going to happen more towards the beginning of the month, like right now or maybe to the end, you know, maybe like next week as opposed to the end because Aries energy wants it now is kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, for some of you, 
for some of you, you already kind of ran into this person or you've already met this person, but I feel like you have plans and you're going to end up at some sort of event where you're going to actually get to get to know this person or actually get going to get to talk to them or get to know them better or you figure out the connection is it's on. Okay. I feel like there's, there's definitely some very sexy vibes between the two of you as well, but it's like sexy because it's also kind of like you know it's there's an attraction but you're also it's an attraction of the minds as well as the bodies okay <laughs> Woo! and what do we have here as the takeaway freaking ace of wands energy so this is passionate this is hot and i feel like nothing's gonna stop <laughs> nothing's gonna stop the two of you from uh uh starting some fires together is what i'm getting damn all right all right uh we also have i did see just the peeking out the page of swords energy so if it's not if it's not an aries or a, a fire sign leo sagittarius could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius or someone who is a mixture of air and fire all right let's go ahead and get into these uh wealth messages for you let's talk about your money what is at the center of these wealth messages for october for our Gemini Cancerian friends, please. We do have garden energy, so you might be you might have a job interview or you might have some sort of outing or presentation that's going to affect your career or affect your money, okay? For some of you, I'm getting a salon, so maybe it's like a literal salon like doing hair but it's like maybe you're hosting some sort of open event where it's like you have refreshments but also it's it's a meeting of the minds you're talking about it's like a symposium or you're you're having a a discussion about uh, about topical things or you know um news things or maybe it's like a book club or something like that okay maybe you could be you could be interviewing for some sort of social media position possibly all right let's go ahead and take a look here or possibly a journalism we do have clouds energy it looks like maybe you're unsure of maybe you're not sure how well you do at this interview or at this event or there could be something here where for some of you you might need to reschedule this event because there actually could be inclement weather or there could be some sort of weather warning or something like that or it could it could be something where it's just like the space is not appropriate because it feels like maybe it's something outdoors or something it's more like um maybe it's just not appropriate for that okay for that type of weather we also have the key energy you can you're, you're giving some sort of keynote speech or you're you're interviewing and you might have gotten to some sort of key point in the interview where now you're unsure because now the competition's getting pretty stiff or now you're I feel like despite the fact maybe you feel like you didn't do very well in the interview, I feel like you're getting the key to the office. I feel like you are getting this job or you are you are slaying this speech or this presentation. I feel like you're making great contacts. I feel like people believe in whatever you're you're that you are competent. They believe in whatever whatever your your teaching style or whatever it is that you're doing. Like people are really excited about your ideas is what I'm getting. I feel like you're also might be making it to the if you're in the corporate world you're making it to the executive level all right we have the moon energy which is you know in the lenormand is basically like fame fortune good things happening in terms of recognition in terms of business so yeah i feel like you're you're slaying you're killing it you're doing great pr you get the job you get the office you get the you get the car you get the view <laughs> You might even, for some of you, you might even be um, moving. You might be moving to, you might be moving to some place with a with a um, like a rooftop garden is what I'm getting here. You might be. Uh, you might be excited because it feels like the sky is the limit. It feels like there is no glass ceiling. There's nothing stopping you. Your potential, your earning. It, it looks like it's it's. this is a really great month for your money is what I'm getting and for your career is what I'm getting. All right, tell me more. Tell me more about these money messages for our Gemini Cancer friends. For some of you also, you might be... It might serve you to, to do an interview with a with a water sign, could especially be a Pisces, could be a, or a Cancerian or a Scorpio in that order is what I'm getting. Also with the moon card, could be a, especially a Cancerian or a Pisces, okay? Uh, 
there's some sort of interview or something here where if you have a sit down with them maybe it's also some sort of negotiations or trying to maybe like get this person as a key investor or a stakeholder or getting this person somehow engaged invested in your project in your business in your money i feel like that really serves you if you are like a talk show host or a podcaster or a, a vlogger or whatever it is it's like getting this person on your feed is going to be like awesome for you is what I'm getting okay it may it may open up doorways for you is what I'm getting all right some of you also if you're a you could be a key holder uh you could be a key holder at a uh, I'm getting a lingerie store okay so maybe it's like Victoria's Secret or something like that I feel like you need to be careful though there is someone here who I feel like their intentions they might be they might be trying to uh, get some information or classified information They're, they might be trying to get some sort of information about about like a new something I feel like this is press I feel like press is trying to pr press you for some sort of details but they don't you, you don't recognize them as press you could also be getting a mystery shopper or a secret shopper so be really careful because they might this might be something that they like just released so you might not be used to getting a mystery shopper or maybe this is something they do every year one way or another I feel like I feel like prepare yourself for this because there might be some sort of unexpected change in the schedule or the timeline maybe they're, they maybe they usually follow a pattern and like the pattern is changed so that might throw something off but you're going to be perceptive you're going to sense you know i think your your intuition is good you're going to sense something is off someone also might be trying to get an employee's schedule and it's really important that you don't let this person don't give this person this this employee schedule okay all right Go ahead and take a look here tell me more money messages we have stars energy my gosh though i mean you are really on you are standing out you could be in i know this sounds cheesy but you could be employee of the month you could be like the top representative the top consultant the top achiever the top exec whatever it is it is up up and away to the moon and and possibly beyond is what i'm getting okay so things are just really you are really impressing people you are really making moves that are serving you i mean i just feel like whatever this is this is just the beginning okay i feel like you have so much momentum right now it feels good for some of you also if you're the key holder or the key stakeholder in some sort of maybe you have stock in something it could be something like for uh sleepwear for uh lingerie for bedding and something like that i feel like there is something here where it's like damn you are taking off you are showing off you are six you are just uh so much success okay six it's six sexy all right we have rider energy someone someone that you work with or maybe i hope it's i hope it's not you but someone always calls everything sexy that's so sexy this is sexy that's sexy i want it to be sexier and you're like damn that's a lot of sexiness like you know for sales you know for like we sell cardboard or i don't know it just seems, seems weird that they keep using that as an adjective all right we have the writer energy yeah i feel like good news is on the way very soon okay all right uh with the tower at the bottom what am i telling you about your career about your money all right let's go ahead and take a look here what's the takeaway guidance here for our gemini cancer friends for this month of october we do have the ten of cups total satisfaction you are you are slaying you are killing it and you're also you might also have a, a small team they're also winning you're winning together okay all right let's go ahead this could also be part of a family business or a family endeavor let's go ahead and see what are your foreshadowing messages what is at the center of the foreshadowing messages for this october we do have high honor energy we also have a uh, wealthy man so it looks like here there could be someone who if you have investors or if you have people that are funding your projects there could be a question of these people of, of someone's integrity is what i'm getting that could neg negatively affect your project is what i'm getting or negatively affect your plans also there could be something here where you're being asked to boycott something or you're being asked to put your money where your values are and this could also be kind of a difficult decision because you might you might be asked to miss out on money or lose out on some money in order to take a stand for what you believe is right is what i'm getting okay there also could be someone 
someone who's trying to bully you, someone who's trying to bully you, to someone who's trying to bury your business or take over your business or buy you out or something. And I feel like whoever this person is, they're not above you're trying to walk the high ground, but this person, they might they might be kind of slimy. They might be trying to like they might be trying to attack you in some way that that's uh with no integrity is what I'm getting. But I feel like something here, that's going to come to an end very suddenly. I feel like this person, they're getting found out or they're getting caught. This person, whoever this person is, whoever is trying to force you out, I feel like whatever it is, it's like because of some of the moves they've made or the question of their integrity, they're being tossed out or they're being forced out. For some of you, again, this could be someone that could have been an ally, but it looks like, damn, this ally disappointed you because whatever they've been up to, it just seems like dirty is what I'm getting, okay? Dirty dealings. Yeah, we have main female energy. So whoever this, main female is typically someone not you in the deck for me as a reader but also there could be something here where they could have they could have been taking advantage or taking liberties of feminine energy especially or feminine uh employees is what i'm getting they could have also just been there could have been someone in particular, no matter how they identify or present in terms of sex or gender, they could have reported this person. They could have this. This could be someone coming out and and telling what this person did or, you know, essentially um, calling this person out in public. OK, all right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Tell me tell me more here we do have despair energy uh, someone is someone is definitely getting tossed out of their position someone is losing their job i feel like be careful here because if you're if this person was an ally i feel like it may cause you some grief it may you may experience some setbacks because people are judging you be, you know guilty by association so it could affect your money a bit but if this person has been bullying you or trying to close you close you down or trying to like take over your business and they were using some really unsavory sort of methods i feel like this person they're about to be out on their ass i feel like uh i feel like this person they're not going to be able to to bully you anymore or to cause you any more trouble for some of you even if it's not even if it's not about money or business this could literally just be some rich asshole that bullies you that might like you know you've been trying to walk the high road you're not trying to fight this person you know you know, you're trying to you're not trying to get in your shadow energy you're trying to figure out what's the right pathway in this situation this person could be bullying you because of your beliefs or your religion or something like that but ultimately here i feel like this person they're gonna they're not gonna be able to do that anymore someone might be stepping in and actually someone might be dealing with this person maybe on your behalf or maybe something here someone else that's being bullied by this person is going to step forward and this this bully is out of business is what i'm getting okay we have lovers energy yeah i feel like there's going to be more harmony or th there's going to be a, a good outcome a positive outcome whether this is about business or personal life because i feel like someone might be like in high school or something someone might actually still be in school and they're getting bullied and they're wondering is this going to stop? And it looks like, yeah, October is the month that this this person is actually going to go down. It, it, they're actually going to be called out is what I'm getting, okay? We have false person energy. It could also have been dealing with... Uh, yeah, it could have also been dealing just with a shady, a really shady person or a really mean person is what I'm getting here. But no one was calling them out or holding them accountable. And now they're going to be, they're going to have to face, you know, they're going to have to face the, the light of day. All right, what's the takeaway guidance here? We do have the four five six, the seven of pentacles energy so with the seven of pentacles maybe you've been waiting for this person you've been waiting for someone to catch this person or to catch on i feel like the wait is over all right my friends don't forget to join me um next week i'm going to be doing a bunch of wildflower readings some box of chocolate readings i'll probably continue to do the dailies and um I will be doing at some point this month the Scorpio live birthday reading as well as the astrological weather for November. Until next time, gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.